Hello guys, Wahoo well, here, back with another video. This time around we are talking about the classes that I think needs rework or some updates to their skills. Uh, just basically a whole kid uh, in, the, in the skill department, just reworks and, and whatnot. So I'm gonna, not gonna go over every single class because most of the classes, or well not most of the classes, but some of the classes are definitely, you know, very good, especially, you know, now with the Chloromancer update and stuff like that, some is, uh, you know, working their way up there, but there is definitely some uh, classes out there that it needs some attention for their class and not in specifically in damage numbers. It's just more of a more interesting gameplay. That's where I'm like, that's my just the opinions that I'm and I don't have maybe ideas to all of them, but I have ideas to some of them and we'll go over them one by one. And I've also a uh, link in the description, you know, it's timestamp so you guys can go to whatever class you want to, or if you just want to watch the whole thing, you can do so as well so that was the intro let's move into the very first class so the very first class i actually think about is or thinking about making or should uh you know uh have some attention again it's the chloromancer we just got the update but i think there's a little bit that needs to be changing and i can show you guys right here what i mean so when you throw down your uh, you know your right ability you know it it grows up and it becomes big and then it or it becomes fully grown i mean and then it starts shooting and stuff like the same thing with the, with the spinny thing let's make sure that you guys see that uh it, it can be at the same time if you didn't know but as you can see these are this size you can see it's right on this uh, you know it's not the biggest one if i use my uh you know my ultimate ability you can see the bar down there changes and now when i throw them they are a lot bigger also in seeds and then you can see they are a lot bigger. So those are empowered ones, right? And I can throw down a smaller one to kind of compare. Oh, you didn't see, but it was it was it was more or less the same. So how it works is that when you you have to use your ultimate ability first, you have to use your empowered growth first, and then you have to use these. I wish that they would change. So if you already had one down and this one down, and then you use the ultimate, these would be empowered. You know, you can also have more than. And you, of course, if you went out of range for them, if you went all the way over here, for example, you know, it wouldn't be, you know, there would be some kind of circle to it uh, or range for it. So when you did that, it would empower them. So basically, you didn't have to use your ultimate first. You just had to throw down these, uh, for example. And then you were like, oh, well, no, I, I got to use my ultimate ability. I can show you guys. Let me throw down these. And while now that the ultimate ability is up and you can see when I then use this, these existing ones do not empower, but when I freeze this one, of course, it's gonna grow to be this one. So I really wish that, uh, again, that existing flowers would then be empowered uh, and then be these. And then if you walk again, if you walked away from the range of it, um, it does persist after the, uh, you know, ultimate is gone, it will stay the same. But I just wish if you walk, you know, walked away from them, they would be unempowered, basically, and then, yeah, it would be like that. And that's a small change. I don't know if how hard it is to make that, but if they were like this and I just use my ultimate and they would grow up or be even bigger as you know that. So that's a small change, but you know, we just got the rework, but I don't know how hard it is to do that for the devs. But yeah, that was just kind of my idea for, I, I kind of just like the way that the empower thing works, but I also would like to have it working on existing flowers or pre, uh, you know, ultimate, flowers as well so that was my one thing i had with the chloromancer besides it's a really good update for it anyway so let's move into the next class all right so the next class we're talking about is the lunar lancer and uh, it just needs an update not uh, maybe in damage wise but it just kind of boring just to spam your number one ability like this it does do great damage it's not that far but you know you do have some unique Abilities with the, you know, throw that one and then get grabbed up to it. That's pretty cool. And the ultimate is just boring. You just throw down this one and that's it. Uh, it does look cool because of the skin here, but uh, yeah, it doesn't really do anything at all. Um, so my idea for a rework for this guy is that I don't know if you would take your uniqueness off you know, this one, the grappling thing, that's pretty unique to it. So, but I would maybe combine, instead of having, you know, your auto attack like this, right? It would be, you know, this would be your auto attack, right? And it couldn't be modified by, uh, what's it called? Um, like attack speed, it would just be like this. So attack speed wouldn't work for the, for the, uh, for the Lunar Lancer, right? It would still have the grappling thing because that's pretty unique. And I think, I know there's like people that still uses it and stuff like that. 
Uh, but then your number one ability would be make yourself the clone. Like your basically uh, your class ability could be that you then sh like hit in an arc instead. Like your, your arc would be this one, right? And then you could do like your class gym instead of having it, you know, that it spawns a shadow clone of it. You can be that your uh, number one ability is a shadow clone. So when you use your, your number one ability, you would make a copy of yourself and that would use your, uh, your outer attack and also use your ultimate, which I will talk in a little bit about. But, uh, you know, have the grappling hook as, as it is. And then your class ability should be, uh, or your class gym uh, should change your outer attack to be an arc to be your number one ability, right? So number two, I would, uh, of course, uh, your shadow clone, when you have that activated, you can have it activated, right? And it would be as long as you had energy, you know, that shadow clone would be up as long, long as you had energy. It wouldn't drain it like, not as not as fast as, 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 you know, as you can see mine is doing, but it was just like really slowly. So it would be up like, let's say 10 seconds or maybe like f between five and 10 seconds. Uh, the shadow clone would be up, and then there would be a cooldown afterwards, right? So uh, the wouldn't the cooldown wouldn't start right away. It would start when the shadow clone was gone, right? Uh, so you couldn't have it up permanently in that way. You could use, of course, some gimmicks with the Chloromancer emblem, you know, taking the the cooldown off your abilities and stuff. And then your ultimate would be like Cyclone. Thing. Reminds very much like Wukong. If you ever played Wukong and League of Legends, it, they did a rework for that one as well. We also have a shadow clone and stuff like that. I don't know if it mimics that one too much but i definitely want a different kind of ultimate instead of just this one that's flowing down there so the thing was to be like if you had your shadow clone up uh you could also have that one use your uh, other abilities like i said like the auto attack and also the um i guess the grappling hook you could use as well it wouldn't really be be that maybe it wouldn't use the grappling hook you know that'd be kind of weird but it would use your auto attack and it would also use your ultimate and that would be a cyclone so if your shadow clone was right here for example uh, if it's running like next to you, it would do like basically dip double the damage when you have your shadow clone up. So you'd be like, oh yeah, you shadow first use your shadow clone, and then you use your ultimate, for example, and then you would spin. And you can also use it uh, the ultimate or the the cyclone thing uh, by yourself. You don't have to have your shadow clone for up for that, but it would just do double the damage because it would hit twice, basically. So it would mimic all your damage, basically. And I think that would just make it a lot better for the uh, for the Luna Lancer. It's just a lot more, uh, you know, interactive. It's just the, I'm not a big fan of the, I, well, I never, I don't see a lot of people using the, the grappling hook, you know, and like any, you know, just, just for like, not, um, what would you call it for memes, but it's just more for, yeah, just use it and, and that's it, right? But basically people just run around doing the number one ability, just do like doing like this, 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 that's, and it's, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's just, very boring to do just that. And then of course you can use your ultimate, but it doesn't do anything really at all. And then when you're, and your shadow clone is just very unreliable and usually people don't say, hey, get yourself the class gym because it works. So yeah, uh, definitely something different. Uh, it was just an idea uh, for what the ultimate uh, playability could be. So yeah, definitely uh, some kind of rework to the Loon Lancer would be awesome. But let's move into the very next class. All right, the next class we got is the Boomer Ranger, and it's a pretty cool class. Uh, it, it does okay for farming, but boss killing, it of course does not do very much. And it's very, uh, very niche uh, playstyle, and it is okay with the, you know, with the, you know, the bombs. And then when you have the class gym, you know, it always spawns the, um, you know, it always spawns the chickens and stuff. But yeah, it, 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 it could be a lot better. I really don't have any ideas to uh, change anything because uh, it, you also have to remember there's something called class identity. And if you take away like something amazing or something that makes the boomer or ranger, uh, you know, uh, unique, then you're just basically taking something from other the other classes and, and kind of putting in that. So you just saw, if you just saw the, the previous uh, previous class, that was the Luna Lens, I had a lot more ideas to that one, but I definitely just definitely need a, some kind of rework. Maybe it's just, there's not, you know, to keep the, the Boomer Rangers uh, identity, then it may, might be hard to find abilities that are going to work for, for this guy. But definitely, I feel like it needs some kind of, um, you know, rework. Uh, but what it should be exactly, that is really 
that is really to be said uh, in the future. But hopefully uh, they got much better ideas at, you know, Gamigo than we, than I have at least for, for this one. So yeah, this was the Boomer uh, Ranger. Let's move on to the very next class. All right, next up we got the Candy Barb and it's it has a pretty good uh, kit, but I feel like it could be a little bit different. So what I'm not really a fan of is that when you do your spinning move, it pushes the enemies away. So it's kind of into uh, counterintuitive, you know, you want to be next to the enemies, right, to hit them. But then when you, you know, do your spin thing, uh, it, it pushes them away. So you have to chase them basically, right? And you do have the, you know, when you have your class gym, you can, you, can, you know, you can suck them in with, with this. So my idea, what I feel like uh, has to change for the class is that uh, keep the spin thing, but instead change the ultimate. So the ultimate is pretty cool. It does do a lot of damage and it also does all the gumball drops and all the healing candy and all that stuff, which is really nice, really nice healing and stuff like that. Uh, but I think it should be instead that it empowers the whole uh, candy bar to make him like he would uh, then grow. You would be bigger, right? Like a big bulky guy, right? Just make him bigger. And then instead of them pushing away, it would then, you know, pull them in every time you do that and then change the, the class gen to something different, right? Instead of having this one as the, this, the suck ability or something like that. You still want the move, you still want the, uh, you know, the move when you can move, right? You just still want the, uh, have the jump because when the jump uh, that gives yourself some um, what's it called mobility that's what it's called i was <laughs> struggling finding the word for for mobility so you still have the mobility of your class with the number one maybe you could leap a little bit more but the whole the whole sucking thing here is is awesome a lot of people do that to you know rearrange uh, some monsters and whatnot so it, it's definitely something you want to you know have in your kid but i feel like my, my whole point is just that the Pushing them away is just, yeah, yeah, you know, I don't, I don't really care for it, you know, pushing them and then run after them, because melee already sucks a little bit in trove because you know don't there's some the range abilities or range characters the classes are just so much better at farming because they just have that range advantage and you know these are still cool classes but you really have to be up in their face to do damage and when you then push them away yourself because you want to do damage and you want to heal yourself because. You know, you also want the, you know, the drops and stuff like that from that increasing the attack speed and the movement speed from the gong drops, you know, those you want that. So that's going to get from that. And then, yeah, just pushing them away, which is a little bit, little bit silly uh, to, in my, in my opinion. So some kind of change to changing that uh, just seems like that a lot better. Um, I don't know if there is more that is needed to be done with the, uh, with the, with candy bar, but that's definitely something I feel like has to change in the future in some kind of rework, uh, if not. So somewhere where they like pulling together, basically the sucking together <laughs> uh, is just a lot more better than pushing them away. That's for sure. So that that's all I really had to say about the candy barb. So yeah, let's move on to the next class. All right, so the next class we're talking about is the Shadow Hunter. Everybody's favorite Shadow Hunter. It's amazing, but it is not top tier. So I have a few ideas to maybe make it top tier. Uh, first of all, is that the, you know, the class gem is that you get this rapid fire thing, right? Before that, it just is kind of, it's kind of annoying to, to be, to play, you know, this, the, what's it called? The shadow hunter. It's just kind of like, eh, you know, eh, you're just shooting, right? But as soon as you get the class gym, uh, you just get that rapid fire and you just get max attack speed and you just hit everything so amazingly. So my idea is that to change the class uh, is to take the, uh, you know, class gym and put it into the core abilities. So it would always be rapid fire. It would always, always, like, even if you didn't have the class gym, it would always be rapid fire, you know, just to make it cool from the beginning basically i know there's some kind of value in getting to 5000 power rank and then getting your classroom and then you get the rapid fire there's some satisfaction in that but i just feel like it lacks that all that because i have some ideas for some of the other stuff so uh the bombs are pretty cool uh maybe they would just be a little bit better instead of throwing one maybe you throw like a whole circle around you or something like that right and then maybe increase the cost a little bit or whatever 
right uh, the, the bombs are not amazing but do any you can just throw one and then you have to kite them into but if you do like a circle around you like bombs all the way around somebody can like run into them and you know, the enemies could run in whatever and then do a damage like that but my point is that um your radiant aura like this one where you like you know you charge up your thing and you shoot that could be instead be something where you uh, for a while has toggled on so you instead of you shooting one uh, arrow, you know one one arrow here or whatever you call it <laughs> one uh, single bullet you would be doing um, at a, maybe uh, the 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 cost would be lower range but instead you would do like an AOE for example from from here to here right like like a cone kind of damage but then it wouldn't be as long as here it wouldn't be a, like a toggle thing it would just be you know you shooting from like a little bit of like it would be just you can you still have to all, uh, sacrifice something with being like you couldn't be as long as range but you could be like more up close range i guess you can call it. it's kind of like the vanguardian but just more it would still be have some kind of range like still like be instead of being from from here to all the way to the tree there it'd just be like from here to to over here right or something like that where you can just basically do that and didn't instead of maybe it'd also be a little bit less damage you know but it would just be more instead of you have to shoot one bullet you shoot basically a whole like basic array or whatever you call it you could also be just something where you you, you know you hit it and then it would be like uh like a cone sh uh, toss shoot but yeah i think you should be able to you know use it and then uh, do like that and then the ultimate i have an idea for as well so instead of being like this big arrow thing uh, where it just shoots, which it does a lot of damage for sure, but usually you don't use it at a, as a shadow hunter. It could be like uh, you put down a, a ballista turret, and then uh, that would and that would shoot those. They would shoot the arrows for you, like not the arrows, but this arrow for you. Maybe not as much damage as before, but then you could place that one down, and then you could use that as your basically you not main damage, but like a big damage uh, boost as well to killing bosses and stuff like that. You know, for that, uh, and then the. AOE would be like, but just like more, it's just missing a lot of AOE, unfortunately, the Shadow Hunter. It has, a, like I said, a long range and the rapid fire is amazing, but yeah, it just ends up not clearing as fast as other ones. And for boss killing, it's, even though it's single target, it's not enough damage for that. Maybe it can boost the damage, I don't know if that's enough, but yeah, that was at least my ideas for the Shadow Hunter. Uh, small tweaks, but also some quality of life in the whole having you know rapid fire as a starting thing basically so yeah that was the shadow hunter let's move on to the next class all right so next class we got is of course the knight and uh <laughs> yeah uh the only thing you really do as a knight is you are attacked you do this thing and you even go slower when you attack so you just have to run and so if the monster is a little bit faster than you you can actually keep away from you and even though uh, you have a lot of i have a lot of attack speed is just not fast enough or do does enough damage so do you do have your ability number one is is pretty cool uh where you you know do you shoot that as, uh, at them and if you don't use it if you don't have the class gym you're gonna you know move forward so we basically lose your ability your movement speed so many people uh, don't use the uh, class gym because it's that they want to just you know use your number one ability just run uh, like in the, you can use it in the air so you can actually just jump and then shoot it and then you actually move forward like that and of course the ultimate is pretty cool you know the invulnerability and everybody gets it and stuff like that i think that doesn't really need to change that makes the knight very unique in a way and the number you know your mouse button too you know, just slam down the ground and it's it you can see there's a little bit of a wind up time which is cool and you can see it's very small it's not it's not huge at all i can even scroll out a little bit further you can see it's not long at all and it you know if the if it, they, they just uh oh you, yeah you can move around like this but if your uh your enemies just move a little bit and you don't need you don't get to it it get to move or turn then yeah it, you basically have this issue uh, definitely for the knight it, it should keep the ultimate ability but um maybe change the charge thing and then the smash things to something different but yeah and also <laughs> uh you know the, the the passive is pretty meh right so it's a it's a cool class i do like it as it is uh, as it is you know auto tagging is not bad in in some ways but uh it's just you know reduced movement speed all that jazz it's just yeah no it's not really as cool as it could be so um but 
yeah, I don't really have any ideas to how to change it because again, um, class identity, just uh, wanted to mention the knight because it really needs something work on it. Because I really like it as a class. I really like, you know, the the ultimate, right? As I, as I use it, it's really cool. Uh, I also, of course, have a skin on, but it really looks cool when you have, uh, you know, uh, everybody invulnerable and stuff like that. Really, really cool. But um, yeah, the other, uh, you know, skills or abilities in it, in its kit, it's kind of meh. So that was what I wanted to talk about for the classes. I'm going to mention a few classes in a little bit and then I'll do my outro as well. So that was the night. Let's move into some other classes as well. All right, we are now at the honorable mention of the different classes and we're going to start with the Revenant. The Revenant did get a rework some time ago, like a couple of years ago, and does, did make it really, really uh, not amazing crazy, but it is really good. The, the toggle is pretty good. Uh, and, you know, you don't really use that ability, but you just use your, you know, spears and they do a lot of damage. Also, your ultimate is pretty cool, but it's still missing my little bit. Maybe it's just overshadowing of the, um, because it's a mini class, so that's why it's overshadowing. And, of course, you can't really make it range. That would be weird. The Revenant maybe have to have a little bit of a look again. Maybe, you know, move your, change something with the class gem. So your class gem is not really, I never see really people use this at all. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe change it to something else, the class gem, but yeah. Just an honorable mention. Let's move on to the very next class that I'm thinking about is the Neo Ninja. The Neo Ninja is very strong and very, very fast. That's why it's an honorable mention. Uh, it does do great damage uh, for farming and also for, you know, just going super fast. So, but it just lacks boss killing potential, but maybe, you know, you can't have everything. You can't have your cake and eat it too, right? So maybe we'll just maybe keep this one that that is, but maybe tweak it a little bit for, yeah. Maybe do something for the class gym, uh, even though that's like kind of the core of it, but I don't know, uh, maybe just put the big one in. Or as this small Sharikin becomes big, just have it one big one. I don't know, but I just want to mention the 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 Neo Ninja has a potential rework as well, but minor ones at, at least. Then I want to talk about the uh, Pirate Captain. The Pirate Captain is pretty cool as well. It is a ranged character and it does do great damage for you know your turrets, but it does have to ramp up in a little bit and they do disappear and then you have to go start all over again. So. Not sure what the rework should be for this one, but it is lacking in both farming and in boss killing. It might be a better boss killer than farming. Uh, I don't play Pyro Captain, so I'm not sure if it's not. But yeah, I wanted to mention it as well. So these are just honorable mentions that, you know, might see some or should maybe see some reworks or some additions and also make it a little bit more of a, you know, uh, more fun and gameplay for sure. But that's what I wanted to say. You know, there was more about the other classes that I had in mind. Uh, these were just like the, like I said, the honorable mentions in the end here. That, you know, if somebody sees it and say, yeah, sure. And they could tweak it a little bit here, tweak it a little bit there. That would be, that'd be awesome. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.